Thanks to Diecast Airplane Store for giving me this special promo code. Use code ADAMIC12 for 12% off your order today. Also, when shopping at Aircraft Model Store, use the link in the description. It really helps me out. Anywho, onto the video. Okay, so basically, I lost the footage of me opening the box with the model in it, so I'm just gonna cut straight to uh, me showing the details of the model, and you guys can see um, the box uh, at the end of the video, so just enjoy the video. Okay, uh, I forgot to say this, but basically, I know I'm filming this on December 3rd, 2020, I got, of course this is part of the October 2020 releases, Gemini just October 2020 releases, and I ordered it, it didn't come in November, and then Gemini announced that they're um, future releases are going to be delayed, not only the October ones, but the December ones. So yeah, this one was delayed, uh, Diecast Airplane shipped it on November 30th, and I got it today, which is December 3rd. That's actually pretty fast shipping. Good job, Diecast Airplane. Um, and based on the timeline for this model, like, when it was shipped, I'm pretty sure the Gemini Jets December 2020 releases aren't going to be shipped until either late January or early February. So just keep that in mind when you're going to pre-order, uh, Gemini Jets' new models but yeah anywho on to the detail segment starting off the detail segment for this model you have the tinted cockpit windows this is not just how um this is how every single gemini 7810 comes uh, and 787 but yeah you have the tinted cockpit windows star, star alliance logo intelligible handwriting it's too small i can't read it l1 door stubby landing gear the landing gear is actually quite stubby on this model um, from what it looks like, but yeah, you have the, um, awesomely well done United Blue Evolution titles, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, antenna, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, L2 door. You have the engines, uh, I'll show you guys something later. Uh, you have the engines, you have the wings. Uh, here you have the L3 door. And then at the back of the aircraft, you have two antennas, the registration, which is November 12010, the American flag, Dreamliner titles in blue, El Fordor, Siren Lumber, and the awesomely well done uh, United Blue Evolution tail. And of course, you have the classic, as is going to be classic, and for the future will be United's delivery. You have this blue flourish, which I'm really, really a fan of the blue and gray flourish on the bottom of the aircraft. But yeah, I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod to show you guys something. Something that I've noticed is that the engines, they're slanting down. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's, it's, it's a very slight slant, but still though, for somebody who paid $55 included shipping, and I get the model like this, like produced from Gemini, it, it's, it's kind of decreases the quality, you know? But yeah, this is the blue engines, but the, the color is very nice, but it, it, the engine is slanting down. Uh, Aviation 18, um, Triple seven twos in the new livery United triple seven twos came like this, with the engine slanting up. So if Aviation eighteen or Red River Aviation, if you're watching this, that's something to be a little bit skeptical of. And another thing is that the wings they seem a bit uneven. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this properly, but the wings seem a bit uneven. Uh, the left wing is uh, higher than the right wing. And I don't know if this is just my model. It's like a model defect, or is it on all models? Um, you guys should comment down below and talk about it in the comments, please, because I really hope you guys don't get your model like this. But yeah, on the bottom of the aircraft, it's basically normal Gemini Jets. You have the Gemini Jets logo, and of course, all the landing gear came intact. But yeah, besides those two little flaws, this is a really good model. And yeah, let's move on to the conclusion segment. So I've just finished filming the detail segment, and... Uh, looking at the model in closer detail, just like I was admiring the beauty of this model, and I found another thing that's really bugging me. This is very peculiar of Gemini, usually, uh, this is very peculiar of them, but the engines seem quite low to the ground as compared with my, uh, NG United 7810. And I don't know if this is just my model, like I said, or if it's with every model. Please comment down below when you guys get yours, uh, your 7810s, whether this is the case. But, yeah. Moving on to the conclusion. So my final thoughts on this model is that I have a very mixed opinion about it. On one hand, the livery looks very good. Um, they got the- Jim and I got the colors right. 
they got everything well, I mean, besides the tinted cockpit windows, slanting a little bit down. They got everything right, except for the mold, and that's why I have a mixed opinion, you know? The wings being slightly not level, the engines being lower to the ground than uh, my NG 7810s, and um, <laughs> the landing gear being lower to the ground. Uh, and I'm sorry if I said landing gear, it's engines, by the way, but yeah. If those things bug you, um, then don't get it, but the wing slant and all these flaws, they're very, very minor. You're not going to really notice them when you first get the model. So, my, I have mixed opinions about this. If you need it, get it, go for it, you do you. Um, but personally, I would buy another one just to see if it comes like this, but yeah, so... Feel free to get it uh, if those tiny flaws bug you and you just really like delivery or feel free not to if you're very critical like me and you love criticizing people. Well, that's not my type, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. And that just concludes this video. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos and comment down below what you think of my review. Uh, which, what are you getting from the October releases if you got this model and how it came to you. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.